Okay, everybody, I'm going to talk fast because I want to get through this in about five minutes. This is a quick introduction to the materials that you're going to need before you come to class. First, can canvas. Uh, you need to choose if you're going to paint 8x10 or 11x14. I have done, uh, this is our sample painting for our first session. Uh, this is the 11x14, this is the 8x10. I demonstrate on this. So I'm going to be demonstrating on the 8x10, if you don't feel, I mean on the 11x14, if you feel com more comfortable with smaller, that's totally fine. You can get these in a big pack. Michael's, Hobby Lobby, some of the big uh, chain stores will have this with a coupon for like 10 bucks. So uh, everybody needs their own canvas, of course. Um, that's my recommendation. Uh, always use a coupon. There's always a coupon or there's always a sale. Uh, if you can't get uh, this type of stretched canvas, this is fine. These are canvas boards. This is a can canvas glued to a board. If you can't do, uh, if you can't get a hold of canvas, paper is fine. This is watercolor paper. Just find the thickest paper that you can find. And if all else doesn't work, you can use a cardboard box. This is cardboard box. I've done a lot of painting on these in theater. Um, next thing is you will need some kind of paper to uh, practice on. Uh, we're going to do a little bit of drawing, a little bit of practicing, sketching. This is just a sketchbook, but you can use copy paper. Uh, brushes. First off, I recommend getting one of the packs of uh, small brushes that I've got a link to on the materials page. These are my favorites. Um, a uh, Flat brushes. We're going to be using a lot of flat brushes. There'll be one, uh, one that is a, a small one that you'll want. So have one uh, like a liner brush is what it's called. Um, then go find as many old brushes as you can. Uh, you want to have something that's a little bit bigger to, to lay in paint with and something to blend with. I use these as empty brushes with no paint on them, using them to blend. So see what you can find in there. All of this is in the PDF link. Paint. Um, this is the brand that I recommend. It's Basic Student Acrylic. Uh, you're going to need uh, white, blue, yellow, and a red. And you're also going to need earth tones. I recommend, if you're starting from scratch, I recommend the set that has all the colors in it that I put on the, uh, on the site. So that way you, you'll get familiar, get, get uh, to know the names of the colors and what they do. These are our earth tones. Raw sienna, burnt sienna, raw umber, and burnt umber. You can also use craft paint. If you've got craft paint from other projects, I've done a lot of painting with these, and these will work just fine as well. Just be sure you get the colors or some colors that are similar. Something to draw with. That can be a piece of charcoal, a pencil, a piece of sandpaper. I like sanding the canvas down so that it's really smooth. Before we even paint on it, we're going to do a quick sanding on it. A roll of paper towels. Very important, a squirt bottle. We're going to put plain water in this. Very important. Something to put water in. Uh, I recommend nothing smaller than this. Large yogurt cup. Any kind of a tray or pan will work. Uh, these are index cards. What I use these for is I use these for testing color. I'll go to the palette, mix a color, brush a little bit on here, maybe hold it next to my reference photograph or next to my painting to be sure that it's matching. And uh, these are old index cards I had around. Uh, what will also work just fine is a piece of copy paper folded over. Our reference photograph. This is downloadable. And I suggest, if you can, print it out so that you can uh, test paint colors on it. If you can't do that, it's totally fine to keep it on your phone or laptop or iPad. Um, palette. What I like to use for a palette is a foam paper plate. I take tape and I tape it down to the table or to this board. That way it doesn't move around. And I think 
that is it. <laughs>